background. Okay. Now, I am a dumbass. I am going to be off screen for a minute. Because I forgot to create a party. So I don't have to deal with the stupid randos in ranked. Rule number one of ranked. You suffer from the same exact problem that Overwatch suffers from. The people that you play with will generally suck. Because they all think they know how to play the fucking game better than you do. We are all big boys and girls. We all have big penises, we all have big titties, whatever your sexual preference. Stop thinking you know more than the rest of the people around you in rank. Don't talk about the meta, don't talk about this champion's OP, just stop it. Ranked is all about your ability to overcome challenges. First off, there are four champions that are always going to be banned. They may not always be the same champions, but you have to deal with not being able to play as those four champions. Shut up and deal with it. My man was picked! I'm going to rage quit! Shut up. Now, we will play a game, but before, I don't know why I'm talking in semi-Russian accent. It, it's, this accent is phasing very differently, but I'm going with it. So we're going to roll with a semi-Russian accent for this video. It's important to note on the champions what the fuck you're doing. Koga is banned right now automatically as a new champion. When Koga is no longer automatically banned, Koga should be fucking banned anyways. If your team is not banning Koga, and you let the enemy team ban Koga, then you're just fucking stupid. If you say Koga's so easy to counter, go back to Overwatch, Dota, Team Fortress 2, Fortnite, wherever the fuck rock you came from, and get out of here. If you think Koga, with the ability to not consume ammo on hit shots, and the ability to shadow step and restore almost all of his ammo. Yeah, that is not fair and balanced character. This, this shit needs to go. However, because Hyrez seems to think he is a fair and balanced character. Lesson one, ban this motherfucker. Bad. No. Bad kitty. He does not show up in ranked play. If you do, you lose game. If he's on your team, you still lose game. You have to pick second flanker. Because Koga is not a flank. Koga's not a healer. He's not a frontline. He's not a damage. He's a flank. He is a piece of shit. Plain and simple. Koga equal piece of shit. You can't count on him to do anything other than piss the other team off and to piss you off. And if he's not pissing the other team off, that's because he's pissing you off. By not pissing the other team off. Koga relies on doing one thing, pissing the other team off. More than Eevee and more than Z. And more than Maze. Or Buck. Koga just pisses people off. Now, it's important to note how people will normally ban. Here are common bans that you will see. Drogos, the higher up you get into rank, the more you will see Drogos banned. This is good pick because of ultimate, fuselage, uh, ultimate, and fuselage. Really though, Drogos requires high degree of difficulty, so it is not always bent. Fernando. This motherfucker's a sneaky pick. He can be the top tank in the game, he can be the top damage in the game. It all depends on what you want to do with him. So, picking Fernando as a ban is not a bad choice, just note that you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. Fernando is much easier to counter than other tanks in the game. Makoa. People will say Makoa is the best tank in the game. He can Fernando. So you will see Makoa banned or top pick. Again, don't shoot yourself in the foot. There is only one tank in the game worthy of being banned. And no, it's not fucking Terminus. Any, any tank can counter Terminus. Anara counters him. Khan counters him. Eh, Fernando not so much. Makoa counters him. You wanna know who you ban? This motherfucker! God! You can't handle him! Okay, enough with the puns. Khan is fucking beast! He applies CC and damage buff to his whole team on firing line. He can take one person and move them like a fucking ragdoll and chuck them off the map. And if you don't know how the fuck to get back, you are dead. 
He can Commander's Grab and knock you out of almost anything. And the fact that he does good damage and the ability to heal his D. You only need the one run, one run healer on your team, and it can be an off healer. Stop bringing your motherfucking yings into wreck, please. This, this little bitch is baby. She can't suck. She can't suck anything except our little binky on the way to baby's first nursery in terms of healing. Good yings overpowered. Averaging's suck. Don't do it. If you are averaging, which I am averaging, don't do it. If you are good ying, okay, fine. Average is not going to cut it on certain characters. If you're running two tanks, one can be average. Khan should not be average. Anara should not be average. High tanks with high degree of skill should not be average. Barrack, Ash, Fernando, and Ruckus all can be relatively low levels. Terminus can be low level. Torvald, Makoa, Anara, Khan. High level. If you're not level 20, don't play them. In ranked. Also note, Torvald, solo tank competitive. Not great strategy. Healer. You better be fucking good. And if you want to run a damage healer, you better be praying that there's either Khan, a second healer, or you know how to do both. Damage healers are annoying because they don't keep the team alive. And when I mean I don't keep the team alive, it means when I play tank and I'm dying because my teammates who are playing damage and flank don't know what the fuck hitting target is, you do jump. You see, I am angry right now about ranked. Let me show you why. Hopefully the games are still up here. Damn it, games are not still up here. Yesterday I played two ranked games. Both as an hour. Both games, these motherfuckers tell me, first pick Inara, Khan is banned, Terminus banned, Zin banned, Willow was banned in one, and I believe Tyra was banned in the other. These motherfuckers gonna sit there and tell me, oh my god, we don't have any damage, Inara first pick, oh fucking no. I carried both games in damage, 81k, 3, oh. 15, that's 3 kill, 0 death, 15 assist, 81k damage, 322 objective time, 4 and 0. Oh. No one hit 50k damage, except me on Inara. Next game, Ascension's Peak, first pick Inara. Oh my god, we have to carry him in damage now. Anara, 12, 10, 21, 452 objective time, 94k damage. The next highest damage on our team, Leon at 71k, Bomb King at 60k, and Victor at 50k. The Leon got 15 kills, no one else hit 10. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself if you let a tank carry th not one, not two, but three fucking damages. In damage. Now we will play. Because it will be easier. And I've also monologued for eight minutes. I'm playing solo. Don't do that. This is mistake number one. If you want to survive the hordes of fuckers that you run into that think they know more than you and competitive, you don't run it solo. You bring a buddy. And then you tell your buddy what to do. If you know more than them. Or you let your buddy tell you what to do. Because the two of you can at least agree to disagree and tolerate each other. Because you're friends. You kind of have to. Especially if you want to win. Tip number two. Don't go to fucking game chat unless you are solo. Am I going to game chat? No. Because I'm talking to you and I'm going to piss the other team off. Also, I'm in fake Russian accent for some reason. I really cannot get out of accent for this video. I apologize. If I am offending you, I may or may not be sorry about that. It, it just... It, it is happening right now. I fear I may have disease of some sort. Fake Russian accentophobia or something. I don't know. We'll come up with it. Anyways, who do you want to ban in competitive? Well, for one thing, 
Don't ban healers. It's fucking stupid. Furia is not worthy of a ban. The only reason you ban Furia is because you're sick of her. I said stick. Yeah, I meant to say sick. You are sick of her fucking pyre strike. If you're tired of that, buy resilience. Don't waste a ban on her. Your number one pick should be Khan. If you don't have anyone on your team that is playing Khan, and by anyone on your team, I mean the person picking first, you ban this motherfucker. He will literally change any ranked game to your advantage. Firing Line Khan is the most OP motherfucker in the game to build a team around. Fuck Koga. Koga can carry a team. We don't give a rat's ass about Koga. Like I said, we have to pick a second flank if we have Koga. Because Koga's a dime a dozen. They're good, they're bad, they're ugly, it does not matter. Khan is all that matters. Now, who's your second ban? Well, you want to pick a flanker. What you need to realize is the damage class is very annoying. Willow stops all healing on point. Vivian doesn't stop shooting like Koga with higher health and a little bit slower. Tyra's burn monster is OP, but then again it is easier to counter. Leon's death and taxes is really the only reason you should consider banning her. Fuck the snipers. Hope that your enemy has bad aim. Other than that, Drogos with his ultimate and fuselage. Okay. Don't ban damages. They're all fairly easy to counter. And you have to realize that a good flanker on your team can kill them fairly easily. And don't ban healers. Literally. Luminary Genos. If you ban Genos because of Luminary... Because you don't want the other team getting it. Make him first pick and switch with someone. If you are that afraid. You always want to ban at least one flank or one tank. Don't ban two tanks. Don't ban two flanks. You need to realize that there are four picks that can be banned. If you ban a tank and your opponent bans a tank. And you ban a second tank. Well now your opponent's just going to say fuck and ban another tank. That means four tanks are gone. Who are the four tanks that are gone? Usually Khan, Terminus, Anara, and Makoa. That leaves Fernando first pick and Ash as the tank of choice on the other side. Because you've got Barrack, Ruckus, and Torvald who are primarily off tanks. I say primarily. Remember, any champion in this game can be good if you know how to play them. So don't ban more than one tank. You also need to leave options available for the rest of the team if you want to be stupid and pick damage first pick. Note to self, damage is not first choice. Never first pick damage. Tank, flank, first pick. Your team's turn to back. Oh look, I'm not first pick. We're fucking screwed. Enemies turn to back. Again, why are these motherfuckers bad terminus? Terminus is easy fucking counter. Khan. Ban Khan. He's, okay, we have Hunter's Daughter, Winter Witch, Self-Appointed Knight. So that's Cassie, Evie, and Nando. If this motherfucker picks Cassie first pick, we're dead. This will be hard carry. Our team already fucked up in the band. This is also a bad map for Terminus. You need to realize that. Your They're not banning anyone. Ban. They may be AFK. Now, this is good for us. Look, look, this is just fucking stupid. This, this right here is just fucking stupid. You don't ban two tanks. You don't ban two tanks. If their team was smart, they would have banned Inara off the bat. Okay, Moji's gone. See, their team is smart, even though they fucked up on first big bet. Now, you want to counter pick. I'm in good position to counter pick. I can bet cleanup on my team. I'm tied for last pick. So I can literally bet cleanup. Problem is, I'm most likely going to be healer. And I don't want to be healer. I want to be tank. Because I cannot trust these fuckers on tank. Okay, Bach and Snare, that's going to be annoying. And Furia, for whatever reason, people pick Furia first pick. Okay, first pick Fernando. 
probably going to be damaged, Fernando. Got that the fucking meta. Zin is still on the table. Zin is the pick of Okay, Zin is gone. This is good. Now I pick healer. Who do we want for healer? Who do they pick for tank? Anara is still open. I jump on Anara right here. If they don't grab Anara, I'm not going to leave the best tank in the game open. Especially if they don't pick a front line here. If they pick a damage and a flank. Especially if they pick Willow. If they pick fucking Willow. Okay, that's a bad tank. Inara will cripple her ass. Your turn to pick. They pick Drogos. I first pick Inara. Make your champion your own. You don't Inara. Yes! I love this team! Whoever the fuck just picked Grok, mwah, I fucking love you! Now it's Italian. Okay, okay. Uh, hopefully the accent is gone. Okay, this is good. So, Grok, Totematic Ward, no Buck, no Furia, no Ash to deal with. Just sit on the point and stay and take. They bring two tank. We have better two tank. We have damage Nendo and point Anara. They have point Ash and damage Mako. This fucker pick. Why the fuck did you pick Drogos if you could have switched? Okay, no, no. Okay, this is winnable. They don't have any good way to counter CC. Ash and Makoa are the only ones that can run CC builds outside of Drogos. They don't have a team-based way to stop me. I will protect this land. Their team my fucked up being. by not picking a ban in the beginning. They may have infighting on their team. We have to rely a lot on not having solid DPS. Bomb King aim has to be good. Drogos can be a little bit spray and pray if he's running combustible. Their team is very low level. Our team is very high level. Everyone's above 20 and they don't have anyone below 20. This is going to be cakewalk. They need to be fucking smurf accounts right there. They're fucking smurf accounts. We win this. I, I, the accent is back. God damn it. Hybrid French Russian. Okay. Now, let's see how stupid my team is. Zin pick fucking Yomi. I will kill him. Okay, Furia won't load in. Furia may bot out. So let me explain how Siege works. That's, that's the drafting process done. So now we sit in a spawn point and wait. And we ride around on horses. And we ride to this big circle on the map. And we stand in it to capture it. And if the other team stands in it, we can't capture it. So we have to kill them. And once they're dead, and we can stand in it alone, we capture it. And once we capture it, then we, there's this big shopping cart full of bombs. That we drive into the enemy base. And we blow it up. And we get a point if we capture. And we get a point if we blow it up. And we get a point if we defend it if the other team captures it. But they can't blow us up. And the first team to four points wins. I will but fight you cannot get a point on a wild. defense. On, on, you cannot win on a defense. <laughs> Triple field. Use me. Master Rider. Oh, very nice. Zin is not happy with me. Zin can go fuck himself. Zin is, Zin is stupid motherfucker pick Yami. Bomb King stupid motherfucker pick Soldier, Royal Subject. Grok is the only person I can trust. Gro Grok I love you. I want you to know that. Buck on ensnare. Won't do shit against Grok. Makoa on the Viathan. Fernando on shield. I would prefer him on damage, Five, but... Four, okay, I'll be free today. The area is AFK, so which is begins. good. I buy Master Rider, so I get on to point. There's no way to get that point. The goal is already almost dead. Ash is dead. Your aid is appreciated. Someone died. Ash died. Drop 
Oh, lovely, Jim. Lovely. Alright, we captured the flank. These fuckers that always think... These fucking flanks that always think they need to be healed every fucking second of every goddamn game piss me off. You have healing abilities in your loadout for me that I get the double kill I don't know fucking how. That's okay. Rock, Fernando, get to the point. I can grab Wrecker. No, I grab Master Rider. Now I fly like now I fly like an eagle. Although I still still think I'm on Master Rider one. Okay, so now we push up. Lost the guy in there. Thank you. He has to come around. I'm not as worried about hiking. He's dead. He's dead. Let the only Jin take care of everybody. Oh look, he's got backup. Good. McCall is running away. Put up a wall. Let us get the cart down even faster. This is fucking a lot. And people say Anara is bad tank. People who say Anara is bad tank are stupid. Okay, you're your dead. Oh, you have to one, two, okay. Go right ahead, I got wrecked. See, this is good team comp. Okay. At Master Rider 2, it doesn't feel like I have it, though. I still feel like I'm on one. Okay, Fernando should ult. Fernando, you should have ulted. Rock, you should not have ulted. Now you let fucking Anara sneak into the point. Thank you. Okay. All that dies shall be ripped. Okay, now we go to this guy. Sorry. Turn to the mother's embrace. 30 seconds remaining. Show them no mercy. Fifteen seconds remaining. Your aid is appreciated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Zin, shut up! It is not your Be fault careful. you picked stupid legendary card on fucking Zin. Grok AoE healer. You stand near him, you get healed. You are flank. You should have build, so you heal yourself. You pick stupid legendary card, you let tanks carry. Plan and simple. Thank you for the healing, Grok. Those on point appreciate it. Killing spree. 
Group up. Be careful. Shut up, Zin, and kill something. Enemy killing Look, Bomb King needs healing, but Bomb King doesn't spam need healing. Bomb King shut up and kill thing. Thank you, Bomb King. No. Nice. I job. need healing. Do I say need healing? No. I shut up and kill things. Does Nando need healing? No. Yes. He doesn't say need healing. He says kill things with his gun. Double kill. Need healing. Need healing. Need healing. Need healing. Need healing. Group up. Group up. Group up. Group up. That front liner needs our help. Please. Gracias por venir. 
fight wins! You fought well, peasants! Good game, Grok Fernando Bumpkin. No one will keep me from my vengeance. Need healing, healing, healing. Shut up. Need healing, 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 healing. Now you know why I don't go in the game chat. This motherfucking bitch. Eh. Uh, Spam need healing. He don't need healing. He need light for it. He need kill the heal. He need smolder. He needs something besides Yami. If you complain about having an AoE healer, that means that you don't want to stay near the point. Now, I don't know about you, but Grok did good on healing, and Furia did it. So yeah. The other problem, I go to game chat, and I stick up for Grok. Everybody spam me to be quiet. Because I'm the one in the wrong. Which I fucking hate about the rank. Right. Now, this is the other thing I want to show you. Items matter. Look at the loadout that they have. Okay? Everyone on team beside me by cauterize. This is stupid. We don't need that many cauterize. Everyone on their team wasted points on cauterize. No one took deployables for me or Grok. No one took shielding for me or Fernando. Plain and simple. Zin have kill to heal too. Zin does not take smolder. Zin has horrible fucking build. He has movement speed mixed in, no extra ammo for the Yami boost. He's got a little bit of smolder, but or a little bit of built around billow, but nothing for smolder. Now look at this team. Look at our team. Grok has decent build. He has Ghost Walk build. Constant drop totem. Plus Kronos 2 right off the bat. I First one on point, first one to secure it. Master Rider 3. Record to deal with the shielding, because the other team all wanted to worry about one fucking Furia. And the two tanks take Rejuvenate to work around Grok. Bum King max out, kill to heal. Bum King no, I do damage, I get healed. Zin says, fuck that, I only need 600 on an elip. Which is fucking wrong. Like, really. And he run Yomi. That is stupid. Now look at their team. Yes, Furia does not have loadout. Yes, Furia does not have items. She also has Kronos and Cauterize, which she would have been better off on Haven or Resil Haven or Resilient, something like that. Maybe even Blast Shield. Something to counter the damage she was going to take rather than the Cauterize. Look at me look at our team. The people doing damage put tier two into Cauterize. With me on record for anti-shield, Grok only had the one point into Cauterize. Just as the helping hand. But I took care of the shields. Their team had so much Cauterize, it didn't do shit. Drogo takes Veteran, which is useless if you're using abilities. Buck took Life Rip, and he has a build that gives him even more Life Rip, plus Bulka. This is good build. Buck Carry team, 1378, just by KD. McCaw tried to go the resilience route. 70% resilience, salvage 2, destroying shield takes off 4 seconds, I believe, or 2, no, 2 seconds. A strong arm for a second and a half reduction on the anchor, and I forget what that other card is, but I use it a lot. I believe it's shield duration. This is too mixed, no specialty. This is why he died. Ash, Ash run knockback. Four knockback on 
Kinetic burst, eliminations on one, cannot be slowed below 90%. I don't know what the other two cards are because I don't normally run them on her. Ash's problem is that she ran, she ran Haven over morale boost. She only ulted twice and she died pretty quickly. Look at the damage on their team. Now. Drogos carried in damage, and Buck Bats cleaned up on kills. Fury up was probably a fucking bot with those numbers. And Ash, Ash Makoa tried to sit on point, but they couldn't do it. Why? Because me and Fernando worked around our healer. Look at our numbers. Our numbers are not gaudy numbers. I have 7, I went 7, 9, 15 with a lot of damage. Fernando, he was more the sit on point tank, which surprised me. He went 3, 6, and 9. With more objective time and shielding. And Grok. Grok went 5, 8, 16. With the 43 healing and 31 damage. We were the lowest damage on the team. And the lowest kills on our team. Yet we still won. Why? Loadout. We both bought Rejuvenate. This motherfucker right here was not near point. He should have run below instead of Yomi. No? He gets Yomi. And kill to heal two. Over the cauterize he didn't need. This motherfucker here is smart. He gets kill to heal three. Two people, 75% of his health back. Gets two elims, there's 75% health for him. That's maximum health, by the way. The more damage he deals, the more health he gets. This team, not balanced. This team is a balanced team comp. They have a decent long range healer with good setup potential for flanks. A good flank with self sustain and burst damage. A high DPS champion that's a very a slower firing harder hitting champion. Two good front lines. A damage front line that can, with the ability to sit on point for extended periods of time. And a kind of a specialist tank that focuses more on knocking people off our point. And saying get off my lawn more than actually killing people. Where did this team go wrong? They don't compose well with one another. For example, Makoa hooks people in. Ash knocks people back. This is not good plan. Ash shoulder bash people away. Makoa hook people in. Both have deployable shields. Ash is static. It sits in front. I shoot it and it dies. Makoa's... I just run inside, cripple him so he can't shell spin out, and keep shooting him until he dies. And just for good measure, I put a wall up in front so he really can't leave. These two tanks do not complement each other by both trying to sit on the point. Makoa should have flanked. Now, he did flank in certain situations. He should have flanked and tried to anchor away the Grok, or the Bomb King. He did it. He went after this fucker, Zin, who spammed need healing. Buck is great complement to Furia. Both of them do the same thing though. Buck slows people down and bursts them for high damage. Furia stuns them so that you can kill the fucker. These two were not needed. Maeve would have been a better option. Furia, Maeve. Furia Street Justice, instant pounce, insta kill whoever may have stunned. I mean, Furia stunned. Furia could have set up the tanks. Furia didn't stun the tanks. Furia went after Bomb King and Zin. By targeting the Bomb King Zin, the enemy team fucked up. Drogos was 1v3. Grok, Fernando, and Anara versus Drogos. To give you an idea, Let's just round off numbers. 5,000, 5,000, 2,500 versus 2,400. That's almost 10,000 HP or the equivalent of 10 fuselage shots to one Drogos. Or the equivalent of all of us shooting him until he died. Drogos got no help from his team. Ash kept knocking people out of Drogos' shots, so Drogos used his fire spit more often. 
having to waste fire spit on me and on Fernando wasn't as effective. And plus, Grok out healed it on the totem. Makoa would pluck people in, but never. But every time Drogos tried to ult, he would pluck the wrong person. For example, I was I got hit with the Drogos ult every time because I sat on point for the most time. Even though Fernando beat me, it's mostly because of the two Drogos ults. Here's the trick. Drogos was ulting for someone else. Drogos ulted, tried to go for Grok, I stepped in the way, and Nando, I stepped in the way. And then one time he actually just bam and hit me. Also note, I died six times. Three Drogos ults. Let's not count those. Those are one shots. For this fucker here in Makoa also had to ult me twice in order to beat me. So, let's take another two off. Which means I legitimately died four times. Ash's ult doesn't do damage. Buck died every or wasted his ult every time. And Fury's ult doesn't really do much. So the two people who two of the three people who had the solo ult to get me all came after me. This shows you the power of Anar. Now yes, I did run a big risk drafting wise. I let the healer go dead last. But my healer was smart enough to know that with two sit on point tanks, you pick a sit on point healer. And not please the PC at Little Zin. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Maybe, if my game will let me.